Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. Today we're going to be talking about hair. Yes, natural hair. So let me just get straight to it. I've been natural now for about a year and a half. So I did the big chop, um, September 2015. My hair was natural before, but I just transitioned. But I wasn't really happy like with the texture and so on, I just wanted to change. So I cut it all off and it's grown back. Yes, yeah, shrinkage is a monkey because my hair's actually quite long. All right, don't get twisted, amen. Like if you guys have been subscribers um, to my channel for ages, you'll see I had this hairstyle, my very first video, you'll see how much it's grown. And before I continue, yeah, the amount of backlash I've got on Instagram, yeah, saying that how I'm deceiving the natural hair community move how i alter my photos how i lied about the time when i cut my hair how this that also whatever, whatever let me tell you something haters as natural hair sisters we need to support ourselves okay and support each other right okay you guys may not want to post pictures no more to encourage my natural hair growth and the people that want to know. Honestly, they make me not want to post pictures and so on because they're just so judgmental. Like, chill, yeah? It's possible, all right, for a woman of colour, okay, to grow hair, what, inches? Like, I think on average, it's saying, like, it's, on average, it's half an inch, something, something a month. I don't know. But obviously, you see, I broke that statistic. <laughs> Yeah, people are just so rude, like, go away, leave me alone, and let me just enjoy this natural hair life. Come on, to now. Highlight, though, is just a bit sickening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so what I want to share with you guys is basically the products that I've used over the year and a half, um, how I grew my hair, how I treat it, and all that good stuff, because it's been requested a lot. So there was one product that I shared with my other natural hair product video, was Jamaican black castor oil. It is brilliant, guys. But to be fair, I don't really use it as much now. Like in the first six months of me, obviously when I cut my hair and growing it and so on, I used it religiously. I used it like probably three times a week and it really helped like encourage the hair growth. But now I've found something even better. Oh my goodness, you're just gonna love me. You wanna see it? I'll show you. <laughs> it's called Fatika. Whoa. Fatika, you know, it's Fatika. It's like a coconut enriched hair oil. Basically, I use it like twice a week. It's very oily, but it's fantastic for hair growth. And you basically apply it before you plait your hair at night. So it's not really like a, oh, I'll put in my hair like the thing, like just go out and so on. Always at night, even says at the back, but when it's put in at night times and go to sleep. But yeah, it's really good. What I would say is though, put in an applicator bottle. So <laughs> let me just show you how, oh, it's somewhere. Anyway, um, put in an applicator bottle because it comes out like a lot. There, I got it, ha <laughs> Yeah, literally put it in this, as you can see, I've put it in there and it comes up a little drop. It still comes out a bit like, whoa, like water, but it's better than the natural bottle itself. So get an applicator bottle, apply that in the applicator bottle. I think you guys are expecting me to like give you like a massive like trail of products. I'm gonna tell you something, um, yeah. I ain't got that many products. There's like five products. There's like five products I use religiously. So if you're disappointed, sorry. Okay. All right then. For like curl enhancing, y'all already know. Okay. For my sheer moisture lovelies, it's the curl enhancing smoothie. Yeah. Especially when like I wanna have like real curly hair the next day. So I have like my curly, you know, mane and stuff. I just apply a little bit of this. Yeah, just apply this to my twists or plaits and so on. There's another thing as well that I use before I go to bed. It is leave-in conditioning cream from Cantu. Yeah, I know it's a bit bigger than this and so on, but I got this for one pound, amen. So um, yeah, I literally apply a little bit of this, but it's running out. So these hair products, yeah, are just a little bit expensive, so life that we live <laughs> all right and for also to enhance like curls as well or just like for everyday like moisture to the hair i use cantu again it's a moisturizing cut moisturizing okay curl activator cream this is a small one too because this is one pound nine nine praise the lord I would say that product is very good as well. I don't actually use all three. When I'm going to bed, sometimes I may just use um, one curling cream. But yeah, I just mix it up and so on, etc. What I would say, um, always, always plait your hair before going to bed. Let me tell you why, yeah? Because when I did not do that, right, this was like 
probably seven, eight months, you guys don't know this, but the front of my hair was just breaking just a bit. And I had like a mini heart attack and I thought, well, that's it, I'm chopping it all off again. But I was like, no, I've got to treat it, I've got to take care of it. But always plait it, do you know what I'm saying? Have a satin bonnet, um, that's really helped. Because when I mean one side was like here, and one side was there, I said, we're not doing this. It needs to grow back. But yeah, those products are amazing. All right, so in terms of like the edges, as you can see, they're quite snatched tonight. Quite snatched tonight. As you guys know, because I use them in my other video, um, I use Lustre's Pink Smooth Touch, smooth edge gel, and rich with coconut oil. So it keeps them edges cute, okay? Only because I feel like my hair can be stubborn sometimes. So like the usual stuff that you use to like slick your hair, no, my hair just doesn't cooperate with that alone. I have to get something stronger. But as long as you don't use too much, then you're cool. If you use too much and so on, then your edges will just leave. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Literally, it, that will be done, okay? Something else that I started using also, that I've been seeing everywhere, is Eco Styling Gel. This is actually really good, I'm surprised. And majority of the time when my hair decides to behave, all right, I use this by itself, so I don't actually have to use the edge gel, but I use the edge gel and this together when I want my hair snatched. We want it snatched, don't we? And plus it's argan oil, so I love the smell. Yeah, hmm, yeah, it's amazing. But yeah, those are literally like the main products that I use religiously, I would think, that really just like maintain my hair. And yeah, let's talk about color now. Color on the hair. So this color was actually accidental. I'll tell you why. So obviously my edges, they come through very quick. My hair grows quick, yeah? Um, and I usually use dark and lovely chestnut blonde um, to dye my hair and so on. Um, but this time I was like, I want it to, because usually with dark and lovely, I think there's there's been a lot of reviews saying that it leaves your hair dry and so on. I just think it's the way you maintain it after, to be fair, but preference. But I know it's dark and lovely, it's not exactly strong in terms of like dyeing the roots anyway. So like literally my hair will be like three tones, so it'll be like black, brown, then blonde and they'll be like mm, we don't know about that so i thought let me try something different obviously like try probably a lighter blonde or a different brand to basically make my hair all one color <laughs> let me tell you the story yeah so i decided to get cream of nature so i've tried cream of nature before when i dyed my hair red for a brief moment this was like probably five months into um, into my hair growth and it lasted two days so I said dead I'm not getting it again so since then I basically just stuck with dark and lovely despite the reviews and so on it's worked with my hair it's never really been damaging um, and so on but I thought okay cool let me try cream of nature I just try a different color this time so me like a fool decided to get lightest blonde yeah I got lightest blonde right to dye the root only ha 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 the roots only yeah so this was a day before christmas and i remember i dyed the roots but for some reason it's like the actual like dye was traveling to and basically all my hair was getting light and i said i don't and bear in mind my roots started to get light what five minutes into basically after the application of me putting the hair dye on and i was like do i just wash it out or do i leave it for 20 minutes like how the instruction says but no, me like an idiot, I was like, yeah, cool, let me leave it, yeah, and it'll be calm. I left it 15 minutes, tell me why. My hair was like ginger, light blonde. I said, no, sir, nope. So I washed it out and I literally scared myself. I was so upset, literally. So what I did, I took a chance, I know guys, I got the dark and lovely chestnut blonde that I dyed my hair the next day, yes, on Christmas day, yes, two dyes in two days. See, now I wait at least a month before I dye my hair again, or just a little bit longer. I waited a day, because I was like, I'm desperate. I'm not gonna have my hair like this, because I look like a fool, yeah? So I dyed it, and it made it a bit better. At the same time, my hair was just a bit, mm, leave it, so. <laughs> then I dyed my hair dark, with a dark and lovely chestnut blonde in um, the middle of January, and I came up with this color. Well, to be fair, it's gone a bit darker. But I actually, I actually like it, you know? I'm used to it being a bit darker and so on. But yeah, that's basically the colours of my hair. So it's um, Cream of Nature Lightest Blonde and Dark and Lovely Chestnut Blonde. Please guys, I do not advise you to do what I did. I don't because my hair could have dropped off but the, 
the grace of God, yeah, he kept me in my hair because he knows the tears that would have dropped would have been real. I'm telling you, I would have gone nuts. But yeah, that's actually the colour of my hair. But the usual colour is dark and lovely chestnut blonde, yeah? For those of y'all that want to know. Um, But yeah, I think that's it. Just remember to always maintain your hair, always plait it or twist it before night. Use a hair bonnet, but a satin hair bonnet, like it's not too suffocated by the material it needs to breathe. And yeah, look after your hair. Don't think you just go natural and just leave it and not style it and so on, because it will cut, it will, your hair will break and it won't be pretty, yeah? Don't learn the hard way, all right? Cool. That's it for me. I'ma see you in the next video, guys. And stay natural. <laughs> Peace, Middle East to the one, two, three. Also, if any of you guys know any like good wig sellers, please holler, man. Not them ones that just basically don't have a parting. Yeah, I want like a U part, if that makes sense. Yeah, please let me know. I'll be grateful because I just want like a final. I want to find a new protective style for my hair. But yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> Do not forget to subscribe, share, comment, and like. And I'll see you in the next video.